Hi and welcome students. In this video tutorial I'll be showing you how to use Google Chrome and use search operators using the Google search engine. Let's get started. So you'll see here that I've navigated to google.com. If you go up here to the search area, if you're in Chrome, it'll automatically search Google up here. So you can either choose to search up here or in this box right here. Now the example that I'm going to use for today's lesson has to do with eagles, okay? And so when I say eagles, it could mean a lot of different things. It could mean the bird eagles, the band eagles, the football team eagles. So depending on how, what you type in here will be the results. So if I just type in eagles, you'll see here that it populates results for the Philadelphia Eagles football team. Now these results may vary based off of your location. I doubt if you're watching this outside of the United States that if you type in eagles it'll pop up with the football team, but maybe it will depending on your search history and kind of some other factors that go in there. Um, but we're going to kind of narrow our search and see uh, how, what search operators can help us get a more uh, clarified uh, or uh, the results we're looking for basically. And so let's say that I want to look up for anything that contains the word eagles but I'm more interested in the actual bird itself not the football team so I don't really want the football results being in there so I'm gonna go right here to eagles and I'm gonna type and and I'm going to type birds. Now what this will do is this will make it so that Google only searches websites uh, that contain eagles or the word eagles and the word birds. So this is going to filter hopefully more results that are focused on the bird itself. So I press enter and that's going to populate that and you'll see here all the different types of eagles and now our search is a lot more bird focused. Okay, And so it has to contain both X and Y. So this is going to be both eagles and birds. Now there is another search operator that I'm going to show you here and this one is going to be OR. And so if I type in OR, this is going to be every search uh, website containing the or every page that contains the word eagles or the word birds. Okay, so either or as opposed to and which has to contain both. So I press enter there and you'll see that we get uh, all of these results now. So you can see that there's still some football uh, that gets in here, uh, eagles.com, and so you can see this has to contain either eagles or birds. So that's how the results uh, kind of vary here. Now one of the things that we're going to do now is let's say I don't want uh, football results in here. Well, I'm going to go eagles and then minus football. Okay, And so if I type in minus football, that should filter out any web page that contains the word football. Now you'll see here this uh, kind of defaults to the Eagles, uh, looks like the band, yeah, the Eagles band. And you can see the Eagles site right here. This is mostly dealing with the band now. So this is everything that's not related to football. Now down here you'll see that some football does sneak in, but it's only on the, on uh, pages that might be related to the football team, but it doesn't physic or actually say the word football there. Okay, so that's how that works. Now let's say that I was looking specifically for Philadelphia Eagles football. So we're going to switch it up now. Now I'm going to type in Philadelphia Eagles. Okay, now if I type in this, there we go, I have those results. I'm going to show you one more search result that actually will narrow the search further. So what if I wanted it to say Eagle, Philadelphia Eagles, but I only run in results for 2019? Well, I could type in Philadelphia Eagles 2019 and put print this or uh, quotation marks on each side and this will only give me results of Philadelphia Eagles 2019. I press enter and now you're going to see that it's very specific to those three words being in that order. Now keep in mind I could put the parentheses just around Philadelphia Eagles and then put 2019. This will search for anything related to Philadelphia Eagles and then 2019 doesn't necessarily have to be right at the end anymore. And so that's how that works. And you can basically filter out your results here and you'll see all of the different uh, results that we have. So that's how you use search operators to basically look at uh, very specific searches. Now in here we figured out how to look at just the Eagles football team without the Eagles football team and then specifically for Eagles and or Eagles or birds. So hopefully this has taught you a little bit more about how to use the Google search engine. If it has, please give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and have a great rest of your day.